read aloud the excellent essay by Dr. Pritchard on understanding poetry. That page has been ripped out, sir. Well, borrow somebody else's book. They're all ripped out, sir. <laughs> what do you mean they're all ripped out? Sir, we... Uh, Never mind. Read. Understanding Poetry by Dr. J. Evans Pritchard, Ph.D. To fully understand poetry, we must first be fluent with its meter, rhyme, and figures of speech. We then ask two questions. One, how artfully has the objective of the poem been rendered? And two, how important is that objective? Question one rates the poem's perfection. Question two rates its importance. And once these questions have been answered, determining the poem's greatness becomes a relatively simple matter. If the poem score for perfection is plotted on the horizontal of a graph... Mr. The Keating, they made everybody sign it. Anderson. Mr. you got to believe me, it's true. I do believe you, Tom. Leave, Mr. Keating. But it wasn't his fault. Sit down, Mr. Anderson. One more outburst from you or anyone else, and you're out of this school. Leave, Mr. Keating. I said leave, Mr. Keating. Captain, my captain. Sit down, Mr. Anderson. Do you hear me? Sit down. Sit down. This is your final warning, Anderson. How dare you? Do you hear me? Your captain, my captain. Mr. Overstreet, I warn you. Sit down. Sit down, all of you. I want you seated. Sit down. Leave, Mr. Keating. Thank you, boys. Thank you. break or it's so thick show me which constellations you have um, oh I don't know any show me which ones you know okay okay oh there's Osidius where right there Sort of a swoop and a cross. Obsidious, emphatic. <laughs> You're full of shit, right? Nope. Obsidious, right there. Swoop and cross. Shut the fuck up.
Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. Can I speak with you? You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? I am, yes. May I see your credentials? Certainly. Closer, please. Closer. That expires in one week. You're not really an FBI, are you? I'm still in training at the Academy. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. Yes, I'm a student. I'm here to learn from you. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. Mm -hmm. That is rather slippery of you, Agent Starling. Sit, please. Now then, tell me, what did Miggs say to you? Multiple Miggs in the next cell. He hissed at you. What did he say? He said, I can smell your cunt. I see. I myself cannot. You use FR skin cream. And sometimes you wear a lead at all. But not today. Did you do all these wrongs, Doctor? Ah. That is the Duomo seen from the Belvedere. You know, Florence? All that detail just from memory, sir? Memory agent starting is what I have instead of a view. Well, perhaps you'd care to lend us your view on this questionnaire, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. You were doing fine. You had been courteous and receptive to courtesy. You had established trust with the embarrassing truth about Migs. And now this ham-handed segue into your questionnaire. It won't do. I'm only asking you to look at this, Doctor. Either you will or you won't. Yeah. Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed if he is recruiting help from the student body. Busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. What a naughty boy he is. Do you know why he's called Buffalo Bill? Please tell me. The newspapers won't say. Well, it started as a bad joke in Kansas City homicide, and they said, this one likes to skin his humps. Why do you think he removes their skins, Agent Starling? Throw me with your acumen. It excites him. Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No. No, you ate yours. You send that through now. All right, gang, whiplash. A little under tempo, okay? Neiman, just do your best. There we go. Five, six, and. Let's hear some fells.
little trouble there. Let's pick it up at 17. Ready? Five, six, and. Not, not quite my tempo. Here we go. Five, six, and. Downbeat on 18. Okay, here we go. Five, six, and. Bar 17, the and of four. Got it? Five, six, seven. Not quite my tempo. It's all good. No worries. Here we go. Five, six, seven. Rushing. Here we go. Uh, ready? Okay. Five, six, and. Dragging just a hair. Wait for my cue. Five, six, seven. Rushing. Five, six, and. Dragging. Why do you suppose I just hurled a chair at your head, Neiman? I, I don't know. Sure you do. The tempo? Were you rushing or were you dragging? Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. 